All right. Welcome to episode two of Cat Girls and Carbuncles. Um, there was some stuff done in between the sessions. If you want to check those out, you can check the link uh, for our um, World Anvil page. I'll just drop a link again in chat for everybody. Um, there, was, there was some stuff done in between. And uh, basically, the party found an inn to stay at. Uh, they saw a ship entering port. It crashed. It, it kept like drifting and crashed into the docks and then hit dry land. Uh, it had maimed and, and broken sails, uh, and the masts were splintered. All right, if so, there's a hand on a switch, then that means there's a Tyrannosaurus in the hold. You just lost your inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, so I'm going to read this real quick, as quick as I can, and we'll jump right into things. So, uh, the fighting trident had been the ship that had crashed into the docks. Its maimed sails, unable to provide ample stopping power and the lack of an anchor, let it drive into the shore before it stopped. Dock workers <laughs> had jumped into action with such calm that it seemed a normal occurrence for them. A ramp splashed down onto the soggy shoreline, while deckhands tossed rope to dock workers to tie the ship down for stability. Captain Dale Metter walked down the ramp with a manacled man, Jeffrey Bolden. The stern and calm swordsman was bound by iron at the wrists. Behind the two of them was Jake Metter, who seemed somehow sick, panicked, exhausted, and anguished all at once. He carried a single red leather-bound book with him. Behind him were the remaining passengers and then crew. Six cloth-covered bodies were hauled off before whatever cargo remained on board. The passengers seemed somber and some irate about their gear or lack thereof. Layla found Decca and Riv. Gadget found Salvador, though he was not happy about that. In all, three of the bodies were crew that Layla had worked with. The other three were passengers, one of which was Dawn. Further investigation by Layla revealed that the three others that three others had been lost at sea, one crew and two more passengers. This did not include the two that had washed ashore, one dead and the other killed by the displacer beast. Don had been murdered by uh, Jeffrey, an apparent accident, manslaughter. When the ship bucked as he pulled a dagger, his dagger to give Don a nasty but not fatal cut after he had been caught cheating the night before at the game of dice. The ferry to Swineheim would leave that same day, which didn't leave the party much time to prepare. They found that the ship leaves for the ruins every other day and returns in between those days, so one day there, one day here. This allows adventurers to do what they can for a day before returning the next. Nyssa searched for information, but it bore nothing. The people of Dragon Post avoided her or provided legitimate excuses, excuses not to talk to her. She was able to do business. The exchanges were brief and tense. And by the second night, rumor began to spread that she had been the real murderer of Dawn, and that she started the fire aboard the ship during the storm so she could make her escape. She had only worked with the others when they woke up on shore after she used her terrifying hell magic to teleport them there. Okay. Gruzo found Dragon Post to be more welcoming than any other town he'd been to. By that, he found no one outright shunned him or turned a nose at him. He was simply ignored unless he offered to make a trade or jumped into a game of dice or cards at whatever tavern he found himself at. Perhaps it was, <laughs> perhaps it was due to the arrival of the hellish curse bringer that seeing a <laughs> goblin wasn't as off-putting. This is exactly how, how he seemed to want things, though. He had been caught during a game of dice adjusting his roles by a man named Beck Moreland. Beck didn't call him out. He let the goblin continue. If you can give me a sleight of hand, please, Gruzo. Hmm. 
or think I can. Uh, the notes category on Fantasy Girls? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be there. No, it's not going to be there yet. It's uh, under story for the, the past stuff. Oh, no, no, no. I'm asking if the notes category is private. Oh, I think only yours are private to you. I think so, right. yes. I'm going to so, uh, 19. Beautiful. Uh, you had earned four gold from that particular match. After the game, Beck caught up with Gruzo and offered him a drink in Thieves' Cant. He warns Gruzo about Mindy Caramel. You'll never see her, of course, he says. Those who do have a tendency to up and vanish. She holds sway over the various thugs of Dragon Post. Beck lets Gruzo know that he should operate a little more subtly. Sub subtlety. <laughs> uh, Beck prides himself on small, unnoticed things, letting it build up wealth bit by bit. You could say I'm an accountant, he chuckles. Gadget was a spectacle on the first day. The shop owner she talked to thought she was a treat at first. Then she wouldn't stop asking questions. She didn't stop after customers were in line or when they had to force them what, themselves into the conversation to buy things. She tried to talk to customers, too. In most cases, shop owners found that asking her, didn't you mention you needed something from that shop over there? would get her to pause and think if she really did need something from there. She would hop off the table or counter or wherever she was standing and head out the door, only to return minutes later to ask more questions. Mary helped Agatha look for those glasses for near a day. They turned the dewdrop in inside out, and Agatha realized that she hadn't lost the glasses. They had fallen off into a pie she was baking, and she had gone to pick them up. Slippery as they were, they fell and shattered. She was going to use the first coin she earned to buy another pair, but one thing led to another, and she forgot all about it. Mary had offered to help Agatha by going, to, by going and buying her a pair, yet Agatha insisted on getting them herself. She knew a glassblower in town who made them the last time. She wanted to go do business with him. She couldn't leave the inn closed all day, though, either. She was in no shape to walk by herself, so when more of the party finally returned, she asked them to watch over the inn while she and Miri went out to get the glasses. She hobbles along and eventually asks Miri for a lift, and when they arrive at the glassblowers, a handsome older gentleman greets the two. My, my. A tall, buxom beauty and her lovely lady centaur have arrived. He adjusts his, <laughs> his heat-worn apron and wipes the, some soot from his face. He appears to be in his late 40s. That's mid-60s in Earth years. Looks like you're one wandering about without your glasses again, Miss Cherry, he says to Agatha. It would be hours before she and Miri would return. <laughs> <laughs> so, that brings us to the start of the session. The remaining party at the inn, uh, you have to deal with the sudden arrival of 13 people looking for rooms and food. Uh, while Miri... Good luck. <laughs> while Miri, uh, the glassblower, asks for your assistance... Uh, Oh, no, uh, no. Yes, all this all, all, all over again. Uh, oh, so for, for now, I'm going to Miri, and then the other four I'm going to put on the other side of the page here. There's going to be some, some skill checks that are going to be coming up soon. Uh, starting with Miri, Miri, I'm going to have you make a sleight of hand to see how well you can handle oh, this, no. pole, this pole with molten glass on the end. Just a gem gentle roll back and forth, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up the map. Oops, I'm going to accidentally close the map before I pull it back up. And share. Everybody should be able to see the, the map now. All right, wonderful. At first, you're just kind of rolling this thing back and forth to keep the glass, the molten glass, evenly spread as he carefully blows it open. Exactly. So for the rest of you guys, uh, let's see, we'll do... Uh, Gruzo, uh, Gadget, Layla, and there's going to be hell to pay if Nessa is going to be dealing with these people. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, they don't know nothing. It's fine. 
They don't, they want, don't want a room gifted, gifted to them by a devil. devil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Gruzo, uh, you can start sure. start us off. Uh, the, so, 13 adventurers walk in, geared to the teeth, over overarmed uh, for for their stature, I guess. They they look very new. Uh, maybe just arrived on another ship. And they all come in kind of roughly at the same time. You can tell that it's all one crew. Most of them are human. There's a couple demis. Uh, and, and they're standing at the front desk as most of you are probably sitting about the few tables that are there uh, in the small dining area. <laughs> Tay, you need some help she just, there? She just took my arm. And she's like, pet me, please. <laughs> Urzo just watches all these adventures come in and goes, oh, shit. These guys are greener than I am. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and then just kind of starts rubbing his hands together. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Do Drop In. Uh, if you need anywhere to stay, please, right at the front desk. Uh, if you'd like, I can take your coats for you and put them in a side closet. <laughs> okay. Well, important note, there are how many... 13 rooms at this hotel. There's 12 and, rooms at the hotel. And we three of which are taken up by you guys. Yes. We would have been. <laughs> <laughs> so we have three of 12. So there are only nine available. So some of them are going to have to get buddy buddy. But it seems like that won't be an issue. They look down at the goblin and kind of like look back at the rest of their group and then look at the other people there, you guys. <laughs> and they're like. I, We're temp workers. Are, 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 are goblins normal here? Seasonal workers. Seasonal workers. I, I, he, 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 the the leader of the crew, uh, he just kind of like reaches his hand out to shake the goblin's hand, and he's very wary about it. Gruzo will fist bump him. <laughs> oh, great. So it's <laughs> hand and fist. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just like, just. Yeah, it's just Wait, waits for the adventurer to like. He's like, no, I won't. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Gruzo, um, give me a persuasion check. Oh, this is gonna be good. Ooh. Sure. <laughs> That's Are what you I sure have it's gonna be good? <laughs> so he was down. And he's like, it, so se seasonal workers. So the the owner's not here. She no, nah, she had to go get, get her. Go. She'll be back. She had to get her new glasses. Yeah, what Foxy said. <laughs> what Foxy <laughs> said. Layla. <laughs> Layla. Layla, right. That one. Lay Layla, Fla Fo Layla Foxy. Got it. Firefox. All right. So, so do you have enough? Do you have enough rooms are... for us? And how much are they? Gruzo just slowly turns back around towards Layla with just like dollar bills in his eyes. Well, it takes a moment to do math in her head. It takes oh, a moment. Great. <laughs> Can I just Hold check? How much is two plus two? Twenty-four. Twelve rooms. I just drop whatever in the world the price is. Nine nine rooms are available. Oh, okay. So we'll take the remaining rooms, but. Obviously not until we Gosh. we know how much we gotta pay how and how much is how that... much did we pay? Uh, you guys paid like a silver a piece for a week, uh, and that included some basic meals. I want to make one of these boy checks. Looking at them, hmm. Plus six, they yeah. they got more money than they know what to do with for this place. You, you, you can tell by the way they kind of carry themselves. Like these are probably like noble sons it's trust fund and daughters. Baby. Yeah. It's trust like, fund baby. They, oh they got some God. heavy coin purses at their side and they, they have no idea what they're doing at the Just moment. Yes. And be yes. So we could rob them blind and they wouldn't know what to do. Probably. That would be the wrong thing to do. 
I mean, I'm be. just saying. Uh, I mean, the hell person brought it up. It's okay. It's, it's more of a temporary allo- reallocation of funds. Don't worry. But then you remember <laughs> they're probably this. also going to Swineheim in the next days. So they're probably not. Layla's a good not the type person who would rob anyone blind. <laughs> who said anything about robbing them? We're just but, taking back but, our money. The so the, and, Layla, and Layla, Layla will say okay. There are, so this is a very nice inn. There's not a lot of places that are open with rooms right now. This was one of the last places that still had rooms right now because it's a busy time. But we do have meals included here. And the, the stew is phenomenal. You'll enjoy every moment of it. And the lady who, the pro, the pro, the, the owner lady. <laughs> Layla's got eight in Yeah, I know. The owner lady has also been here for quite a while and is knowledgeable and can give you tips and insight on everything else. With all that included... So that's what, a gold apiece? (laughs) Damn, damn! Think of damn, damn! Oh, you're muted. Think of damn, damn! damn, damn. Layla's having a legitimate moral quandary. (laughs) Because it's like, I mean, she is running a business here. She is. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, hey, they offered. She doesn't have listed prices. She, the, You guys were probably her first customers in a long time. A gold per room will work as a down payment for at least a few nights. And then you can discuss the exact rates with her when she's back if you need to negotiate from there. All right, sweet boys, girls, buckle up. Pick your rooms. I call tops. So Layla will go over and Layla will go over and find where the keys to the other rooms are. Grizzly just holds out his hands for all the coats yeah, and bags they, and stuff. And the money. Well, they they're like, we'll, we'll just we'll bring our our stuff with us. Thank you though. And as they kind of like a lot of them go up the stairs, you hear the jingling and jangling of a coin purse as it hits the stairs <laughs> spills out and coins just kind of boing, ding, 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 and then like for Gruzo, it's like slow motion. It's like there's like 10 gold pieces just <laughs> falling like, down like, the stairs. <laughs> Gruzo just like turns around and like steeples his hands, just looks at the ceiling. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did they hey, hand uh, over the nine let me gold Let me get that for you, buddy. Yes, uh, you spilled yes. a little something there. Hold on. Come here. I, you, you got a little something on the floor. Does Layla have any idea where the old lady was keeping the money? <laughs> no, not a clue. Okay. So Layla's just the on the front the desk is not much of a desk at all. It's like a, a rickety old table <laughs> with an ink quill and a little small book. So Layla that does she writes. spend a minute like looking for drawers or something, and it's like, okay, I guess I'll hold this for now. <laughs> <laughs> um. The person that dropped their coin purse com- comes running back down like, oops, and stumbles to pick it all up. They happen to uh, not see that two gold pieces were at the very bottom of the stairs. So they think they got everything in their coin purse and they run back up. Gruzo's going to like, he's going to like go to pick it up and then like put his hands in the coins and like shuffle them around. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. And like make it look like he's piling back together. And mm-hmm. as he's doing it, he's just going to be like, swipe, swipe, swipe. Swipe, 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 swipe. <laughs> Occasionally, as he's just shumbling the cores around and like putting oh, them back no, on the no. side. Roll your sleight of hand. There you go, buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh, you got <laughs> caught. So, so, Layla, you notice that he still has a couple of coins. It's like whenever you're like trying to remember. Just like looks at him, looks at the guy like. <laughs> <There's a curse. laughs> the guy he he looks at Layla and he's like your your Firefox has uh, an she's eye twitch. Little... First day on the job, she's new. Don't worry. But here you go. Enjoy your stay. We'll have some hot towels brought up to you post haste. Hot towels. You just make shit shit up? Up? <laughs> yeah, <'cause laughs> the guy's just like he like just. Hot towels? That's a... Hey guys, they're bringing some kind of like hot towels. I'm sure your feet are tired food from the journey. Food? Don't worry about it. Is that, a, is that, a, is that an appetizer? Oh, I God. mean, we could whip something up in the kitchen if you'd like. That would be wonderful. 
How we'll, much we'll be how back much down did soon. Layla see him take? He was only uh, going for like an extra like gold or two. Okay. Once they're gone, Layla is going to be like, you're giving that money to the old lady. <laughs> yeah. But it's just, hey, finder's fees. We can put this towards our supplies. They clearly <laughs> have more than they need. The old lady I found it on the floor. You, then the old lady will give it to you. But All right, uh, Miri. If they, if they know what they had and they're suddenly short and they count it, then you might cause problems for her. So, we, 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 well, it's time for Miri to make another sleight of hand check. Um, yeah, so you're gonna have to hold the pole steady so that way he can blow the, the glass properly. No, 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 this is you gotta hold it steady. I mean, you're not using your legs, it's not strength. Okay. Beautiful, you rolled better. So, Miri is actively sweating. Uh, not because of the heat I'm of being nervous. in this area. Yeah, it's just like, I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess this up. Meanwhile, he is charming the hell out of Miss Cherry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, he looks up at you and gives you a very polite smile. He Like, he's not disregarding you or disrespecting you, but yeah. he's clearly got something going on for Agatha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're doing a fantastic job there. Uh, we're going to come back to the inn. And yeah, so we got to prepare food for them. So we, we, we have gotten them to stay. And now we, we need to make their food because that's included. And it's been several hours. Um, I don't know if you found uh, towels, uh, cloths to uh, heat up or steam up. Um, well, can't can't you do that with prestidigitation? Can't you heat I mean, things up like not to the yeah, point of damage? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> gadget or Nissa, I think. Uh, I don't think I have prestidigitation well, today. Yes, I, I can do it. Oh boy, hey. my time to shine! <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! If Grizzly like comes over with, like a stack of towels that are just like. It's just like a pile of rags. Hey, you, horny, I got a job for you. Just pff, rag of towels on the table. Can you do the, <laughs> the thing with the, like, the heating, heating up? Hellfire! <laughs> Dark fire! <laughs> you want me to put it over the fire? N no, like, it's a magic thing with the, the you know, wizards and... Layla turns, the stare. Am I at? Uh, Layla turns the stare and watch the exchange. You know, you like, I mean, you like, I mean, you like heat it up a little bit, make it warm. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> no. It's funny that Layla's no. a fire caster. Uh, you you want me to make the towels warm? Uh, yeah. Okay. Just pump them real tight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm guessing what he needs is presentation. Yes. If I said that right. So I'll, I'll put my hand on him and I'll do the magic thing. Okay. Fantastic. So you, yeah, you warm them up for him. Uh, and now we need somebody to cook. And the kitchen's not very large. We're, we're going to fit at most two people in there. <clears throat> uh, what are we using for cooking? Survival? Medicine? Survival. Uh, I hope we don't have to use medicine. <laughs> Survival and 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 nature, please. Okay. So that way we we know what what food we're putting I, together, I, and we're I not accidentally to putting. <laughs> so, you said survival so, or what? Survival and a nature check, please. I have a plus four survival. I have a plus five in nature, but okay, I am fantastic. not. Dang. I am not proficient. That's, still That's okay. probably higher than anybody. Else. I have yeah. a plus three in survival. And nature. Are you proficient in survival or nature? No. Duh, you can't aid them. What's it? You can't All right, aid so, if you're not proficient. So Gadget's going to identify the various I herbs if we can get a, ro can a roll for that. Proficient. Yeah. I'm yeah, you have to be proficient. Okay. Skills. All right. Skills. Nature. Hello. All right. I think that rolled it. That rolled it. All right, beautiful. No. <laughs> so Gadget goes around and says, 
<laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why you have to do that. I've, I've, I've got I got purify food and drink. If it looks awful, <laughs> so, <it's fine. laughs> so gadget, you get various mushrooms, herbs, some spices, and you help Layla get everything situated. And Layla goes to start the oven. She lights the logs and puts it as the most intense fire that she possibly can. This makes sense. <laughs> she almost incinerates the, the first batch of food, so she, she sets that aside like that was too, a little too too long. So she keeps the fire where it is and and then leaves the food on for less long, so it comes out as extra well done. A uh, little bit of extra char. <laughs> hey, that's good, though. Can I make another roll now that I've ruined two batches? <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, well, you you show it off to to gadget gadget. You wouldn't feed this to an animal without purifying no. it. I resent that remark. <laughs> um, I could I could minor illusion it to make it look good. The smell. And the make it look good. The smell begins to linger through the end of burned food. Pers- Fix, fix the smell. You press the digitation. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you try to fix the smell with press the digitation? I mean, if that's what we're giving them, I guess I have to. Fix the smell first. No, fix the smell in the in the inn. In the inn. <laughs> fix the smell of the inn first. Okay, I make the inn smell of roses. <laughs> so from the from the downstairs hallway, you hear somebody. Hey yo, it smells like home. <laughs> now can I make another roll? <laughs> now you can make another roll. You ruined two batches of food, though. Please be okay. Oh, 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 that's better. You turn you, the heat down. down. I was about to say, you turn the heat down. No, we don't turn the heat down. <laughs> we just rotate it much way. more often. Oh, my God. If it so has instead, cook, if it has Layla's to cook like, for 10 minutes at 300, yeah. and at 600, it only has to cook for 5 minutes. Layla's not used to all this cookware. Normally, it's just like whatever cast iron pot she has in her survival kit, and she slabs the meat on there and, <laughs> you know, makes it to where she will survive from it. Yeah. She's not used to all this refined stuff. So she goes and uh, accidentally sears several well done pieces of uh, what seemed to be wild game, most likely boar, uh, to We're almost perfection. To almost perfection, uh, they all come out like medium well, oh. and the the rolls um, that gadget had kind of like stuffed into the oven come out with a nice golden outside, and to to which you guys just you know you remember seeing a pad of butter, so you just like scoop with what looks like an ice cream scooper, just butter onto each roll. <laughs> oh god! You accidentally pulled it out, at, uh, pulled out the honey butter. So, you accidentally made it way better. Mm-hmm. Can Ye- yeast rolls? They. I'm, I'm having a taste for magic now, but can I do something to the food? Yeah. Um, what's the symbol of Don't the? Don't poison uh, it. I'm not going to poison it. I'm not. A, <laughs> I'm not a monster. Well, I am, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, what's the? Uh, the. I guess you would say the arms for the inn. Like the coat of arms or the image. Uh, for the, the inn. Outside. <laughs> the, it's just a little teardrop. It's a teardrop. Okay. Yeah. I, I do. Drop uh, water. I use press the dissertation to make a mark of the teardrop with um, DD on it for dewdrop. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So they they come slowly out as the the smell of the food kind of wafts through the end. Uh, they each find seats in in this now cramped dining room and warm towel, uh warm towel warm towel warm towel warm towel, warm towel. <laughs> oh that's what he meant <laughs> this is fancy <laughs> you guys this are... is way better than mom and dad's you guys are setting the expectations for... <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. the rolls come out and they're like look at that it's a little raindrop. <laughs> How did they do this? They're so stupid. And they, they, like, they, they bite into it. 
and it's you know the honey butter and one of the ladies at the end she just oh i, oh, I can't even right now <laughs> 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 are you kidding me and uh she everybody gets their plate of meat and some vegetables and she like looks down and she looks back up and she says not to be rude but i don't eat meat or anything that comes from animals okay so i it, can you just take this back and i'll just take the the vegetables Lila looks very confused, but we'll take it back. <laughs> like, as, as Lila goes back, she's like, "But why? <laughs> <laughs> but why? <laughs> like, like not asking her, just like, yeah, <laughs> just like why? All right, yeah, like, uh, like sets it. it back down in the kitchen and is just like." <laughs> I'm gonna eat it, and I'm like, yeah. Gadget's like feast time. It's like, it's like uh, so, so gadget, you point out the the proper things for a salad, and Layla, you you don't have to roll survival to make a salad. I will Thank also, goodness. I will also uh, look around to see if I can't find something for like dessert stuff. Like I will investigate for pie or something. Mm. To if we're gonna if we're gonna go you, up this high, we're gonna. All right, so give me give me another Ooh. nature check. We nature get some... instead of investigation, going through the cabinets. Well, it's, <laughs> everything's easy to find, so is, is this... we're we're trying to identify like the best things to make this pie out of. Well, damn, I have a plus seven in investigation. Well, let's sort of like the thousand <laughs> yards there as she's so, making the salad. Yes, like... this is fantasy <laughs> grounds. Nature check time. So I put my magnifying so, glass. Go, go, no, you can give me a survival check too. Maybe you find some sort of rare. Uh, wine or, or you know vintage drink. See, I don't you know get, if she's saving that though. You can get you like said, a dessert. You said nature check, so I checked yes. nature. These, All right. These are high, 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 high rolling customers. customers. Who rolled? Oh, is that, is that did. All right. So drink. You said for survival. Yes. Uh, well, no, no, no. The the drink would be thousand, the investigation. As a thousand yards. Be, oh, investigation for drink. About the rolls with the honey butter because uh, butter requires milk. So no milk for you, no butter for you. <laughs> it's mine now. I'm eating it. <laughs> well, she ate the, the <laughs> she ate the rolls. She clearly doesn't know what she's talking yeah, about. Yeah. Is, she, is she taking pictures of like her food with like her scry comb <laughs> or something? She's just drawing. She's still like drawing. Yeah. She's got a tombstone. She's oh, I've got to put this bacon. on my fantasy space. She's going to bring out the salad. And she's going to be like, can I get extra bacon bits on it? <laughs> exactly. Oh. Uh, Do you have anything like, with pumpkin spice? <laughs> oh, no. Thanks, so. I'll, I'll bring her I'll bring in the salad. It is October. <laughs> Sorry, so she looks at it. And she's like, um, cheese? <laughs> <laughs> cheese is animal product? <laughs> Uh no, that's that's cute of you to think so, but you get it from cheese plants. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I like us back to the kitchen. Layla is make every a... service worker. Ever. I I don't know if I need to make a roll to make sure that she isn't brain damaged. <laughs> <laughs> like this place is nice and all, but they're a little not smart. <laughs> They don't even know what diary is. Layla, Layla's in the kitchen. She's got, <laughs> she's got the knife and the block of cheese. <laughs> like as loudly as possible. <laughs> Chunk. <laughs> Brings out some shredded cheese. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Can I get some more rolls? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you tell me <laughs> So, uh, can I get an investigation from from Gadget yeah. as you're kind of looking around the the kitchen? We need some, we need some, some, some in cheese plant <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Lila needs to make a perception check to see if anybody else is realizing her suffering. <laughs> Everybody seems like to be blissfully unaware of her mental breakdown. <laughs> I was like, so this is hell. This meanwhile, is demon is here. <laughs> meanwhile, Gadget, 
can see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, she finds swirls in every fight. What? <laughs> she finds a ten-year-old uh, bottle of cherry wine. She finds a ten-year-old. <laughs> Have you seen Gam Gam? She was supposed to play one today. So, Bobby, why are you in the cupboard again? So that's like. 17 it's like 15 to 17 earth years um <clears throat> she finds that knows that that'll go well with an apple pie which uh layla you have very little uh issue baking that it's as simple as put you put it together and and yeah you just shove it in the oven and remember it one of them one yes. of them is for me <laughs> i really i really uh, want apple pie now well, it comes out. Face plant on them later. <laughs> <laughs> have to look up apple pie recipes. Yeah. Later. So the food, the the dessert comes out, and it's well received. Everybody's happy. Um, they leave one gold for all four of you uh, as a tip. Um, That's ridiculous. <laughs> he has one gold each. I've never oh, been paid well, for I will. something. I will. Shh. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, the they look at Nissa, and they're they're just like that is. You're just really unique looking, you know. That's like, it's like really like, I don't know. You've got the the dark brooding going on. It's really nice. Don't take your hat off. off. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Who's your tailor? Yeah. I like your. your uh, I like your um. <laughs> all of <Thanks>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> What's this? Is charisma. What is it? Like they, they don't know they they can't tell so you shouldn't have like your bad rolls so I mean, you should I have, have re reasonably good rolls if I you have a good modifier. That's yeah. good. She's, yeah, she's just socially awkward. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's had very minimal uh, decent interactions with people. So getting complimented on dark and brooding is like I don't know how to take that. Is that actually an insult? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have have you grown up being insulted like all for everything? You're using a lot of big words. I'm gonna take them as disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they mean. So they offend me. All right, so back to Miri. Final sleight of hand check so as have, have you, have you ever we frame these horror? grasses. <laughs> nervous, nervous, like, like, I'm just like, just, like trying, trying to pace, pace in place, place very, very slowly. slowly. Tippy taps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's she's begun trotting this in place. Yes, to very carefully put these frames. <laughs> no, no, no. Man, it's more than it's more than. Isn't it? Isn't it called prancing when it's done in place? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> So that's an, that's an eleven. You're prancing. Oh no! It's still better than a ten. It is better than a ten. So it is a partial success. Um, you accidentally kind of like bend the frame a little too much, and the older man he he looks down. And he goes, <laughs> "You're quite strong, aren't you?" And he very carefully readjusts them <laughs> in the place. <laughs> He says, no worries. <laughs> and he looks over to Agatha. Miss Cherry, your sight has been restored. <laughs> and he walks over and very carefully places them on her. First word's going to be, oh my god, you are a horsewoman. <laughs> 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 she looks like he's created magic. <laughs> she, she offers her hand for him to kiss. He does so. Uh, and he goes, I guess you'll be seeing me later. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, Mary, you got yourself and the rest of us into this. <laughs> and she looks over to Mary and just, my goodness, the bosom on you. <laughs> I just saw a very wide blur. I thought it was part of your armor. Whew. How do you run around all day with those? With pride and confidence. Wrap them in <laughs> with leather. <laughs> your back must hurt so bad. <laughs> oh dearie. <laughs> Wherever your you, your top back must hurt. <laughs> your horse back is probably fine. 
<laughs> yes, her tits don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, like, which Shakira songs? There's some, there's some uh, odd small, ones out there. The mountains that are small and humble, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, with that said, it's mostly a resounding success. Uh, as, as when Miri and, and the older lady, Miss Cherry, uh, return, and she is pleasantly surprised at the state of the inn. Uh, she doesn't remember fixing the hearth mantle. She doesn't remember fixing that <laughs> odd nail sticking out in the rafters. She doesn't. She doesn't remember the door being so perfectly straight. Clearly, it's just and wasn't the sign relax. a little bit dangling? Hmm. Whoever fixed this up? There's also this weird smell of Fantastic. roses that wasn't there before. <laughs> like it smells like roses and and steak. It's pretty nice. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So so she she walks in and she's just like it looks like looks like you guys have been busy here. Yes, uh, here's your dinner, and I bring her her plate. I was about to say, Mary, like, like, open, open, like, like, like her, her has, has her hands, hands out. <laughs> Mary, she, I, I hand it to the old lady first. I know. Yours is in the kitchen. <laughs> she she looks down and she's like, my, my my. <laughs> she goes and she she has herself a little seat and. She goes, I have to make sure these teeth stay in for this this steak, huh? Oh, God. Do I need them in the teeth? Wait, 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 wait. I gotta go check and see the doneness of her steak. Because if it's like... I gave her one of the good ones! Is it is it medium? Because if it's if it's like medium well, that might be too much for her teeth. <laughs> she, she goes, she, she looks down and she goes, I normally burn the hell out of these things. <laughs> Your oven needs I eat them anyways, but hell, okay. this is so so tender. It is medium well. <laughs> it's so tender. Hot she takes a bite. You can see like the gum line starting to go forward as she bites down, oh. <laughs> and then she she continues chewing, and it's just one of those like. If you pay too much attention to it, it's really gonna just b- bother you for a while. It's like watching a cow. <laughs> And yeah. so the the leader of the crew, uh, who we have since learned is Jacob, he comes out. He's completely naked. Uh, ah! what? Why? I. Where's the? Where's the bath at? And and Agatha looks up and oh, oh well, <laughs> my my. <laughs> I didn't order any sausage. Aren't you a, a long? <laughs> Aren't you a long, tall, tall man? <laughs> oh God. Uh, I'll I'll go draw up the 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 bath for you. It's I hope you like it outdoors. The the bath, I mean. Uh, and she looks over to Nissa. She. Did you just drop your steak? <laughs> Clunk. Uh. That's okay. She's part horse. She can eat off the floor. It's it's totally yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. She has to bend down quite far. Yeah. She has to spread like front legs. <laughs> 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 the idea of the little ponies like getting stuck. She, she's almost looking over, over his back, back legs under. <laughs> she looks over to Nissa and says, uh, "Go, go, make the water hot." <laughs> and she she points out back to where the small stables are. And there is a trough of water there. <laughs> and a trough it's rustic. somewhat large. It's, I mean, it's big enough for horses. Nobody has any horses here at the moment. Uh, so it's relatively clean. Prestidigitation, uh, boom, it's clean. Prestidigitation, yeah. we get it. Bang. We, we've, been here, we've been here a few days, so we know where yeah. some things are. Yeah. Is there a carpenter somewhere within close walking distance? Uh, n- not so... not exactly close walking distance. I no. am a you have to go, you you have to go over I to the that. merchant's yeah. row. Yes, but do you have do you have a bunch of lumber to make a big bathing vat? I have of thing? I have tinkerers' tools and thieves' tools, and you know but what? Do you have I lumber. Screwdriver. You have lumber. <laughs> she doesn't have lumber. Okay. It's... Like there's there's a woods right there, and by I woods know. I mean it's the fucking jungle. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just cut down a tree. Some wood. <laughs> I don't know that that's. I, I don't know who owns those wood. Do you remember the last time? The displacer beast. Do you, do you remember what happened I'm last time we were in the woods? Gam if she's got a lumber file. <laughs> do, you have, do you have boards anywhere? <laughs> well, looks like we just uh, pulled quite a few in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Here's here's the money you earned tonight. <laughs> hand, her the, hand her the bag with nine gold. She looks down at, at the gold. That's for the their rooms. And they're These good. fuckers are loaded! <laughs> <laughs> right? Damn it. No, I'm sorry. Though, right? <laughs> Excuse my kindness. <laughs> <laughs> these, these people are wealthy. They're well off. And well yeah, endowed so, and well off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna take one go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy some lumber and get some wood so that we can make a nicer bath for them, and then they'll pay more. Uh, yeah, abs, absolutely. Okay. That's fine. I'll go, I'll with, go him. with him. Yes. I'll go with Do you still need me to set up the this... bath or not? In a minute. In a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Just go make the water hot. <laughs> I want to you see still, him walk down that hallway. You still gotta make. You still gotta make the water hot. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. I can't handle that. Just, just let Nisa be Elfino carrying some freaking sticks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go get some proper boards, and then Gadget can do her ridiculous artifice or magic where she can just instantly conjure something up. Poof! It's a bath! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it's probably about 20 minutes uh, going there, getting the lumber and then walking it back. Um, How much did the lumber end up costing for that? Uh, that would have been at least a silver. Okay. Uh, it's it's so a little I've bit more change. pricey than it would be on mainland. But I've still got change. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you absolutely. Got, you got to buy the nails and all that stuff. Uh, look, can, we should make it like since since it's to pretty up the dewdrop in. We should make it some nice lumber that's like you aromatic cedar it. or something. <laughs> Sand, sandalwood, like something nice. Like maybe like, take two silver worth of lumber. <laughs> all right, so so you you bump up the quality. I'm gonna make note of that. You bump up the quality. <laughs> we have bumped up the quality of it's the bath. This is a uh, very wood. very. Rich mahogany. Was she, so, <laughs> way, was she mahogany. burning? Was she burning the meat because of the fact she didn't have her glasses and she couldn't see? Or are we going to have to Ooh, teach no. her to set a timer? No, she's terrible when it comes to anything right, other cool. than stew. Awesome. She she can bake, she can boil, but she can't sear steak. Awesome. Don't. She normally the chunks the the boar meat up and just chucks it in the stew, cooks it for a day. All right, so while while I leave them to make a bath, mm -hmm. Layla will be going into the kitchen and mending any of the tools and cooking implements and other things in there. Okay, <laughs> so you you are like we're, we're mending off really years of rust here. <laughs> that's air. how that's how you get tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> Gruzo is just bringing back plates and plates back to the kitchen. I'm not joking. These guys can eat like a horse um, centaur. <laughs> By the time they get to the bath, it will have cooled off to the point that it's not going to burn somebody. Okay, fantastic. I right, leans over, leans over to Nissan, like holds one of the big rusted pans. It's like this has got so much rust on it; it's redder than you. <laughs> <laughs> ow. So at, at that, uh, there's a whip crack noise and a ow, and you hear three people outside the kitchen kind of like prance down the stairs and then go down the hallway. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's spring break at Dragon Post, <laughs> and you just hear, "By Hylon, I can die safe and happy." <laughs> I was like, "You get him with that towel." <laughs> Crack that <laughs> ass! <laughs> <laughs> Grandma thirsty. Thank you, Hollow. I'm just kidding. I don't need that. Then. I'm worried about her. She, she comes. <laughs> she comes back into the kitchen. She's like, normally, normally for for boys like this, I don't charge a damn thing. Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe they have so much money. 
<laughs> so Whoa. so uh, Layla, once she's either in the midst of still mending things or otherwise, will also tell her, like, this is what they offered for one night. I said that they'd have to discuss any further terms or charges for other nights with you. We will just, we, we're just gonna conveniently keep the price as it is. I uh, like her. I like her. As, as it seems to, to be quite, quite a bit. And seeing as there is nine of them, that's nine gold a night. We're gonna give you guys a cut of one gold. Uh, for for each night, and if you keep cooking a mean steak like that, we're going to have to to make that a two gold cut every night. We're, we're, we're suddenly, suddenly employees. employees. I have never <laughs> seen myself. <laughs> All right, campaign well, shift. Like... Screw adventuring. Yeah, yeah. We're full time now. <laughs> Let's Let's our own <laughs> so we're, another two gold. We're going okay. international. <laughs> Honestly, two gold a night a ridiculous it amount is, of money. Is we're money. talking like insane amounts of money. But hey, hey. Unschooled laborers don't it see that in like year. Like Layla, Layla at first was gonna, starting to say, we could, well, we were planning to uh, an extra gold, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, night, you say? Here and just take the next ferry to, to, to <laughs> yeah. I mean, it only has to, to it only has to last until they're not here. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we won't be here either by then. Yes. So we can teach and, her and she'll, she'll, we can teach her and she'll have enough to hire an employee for like a year for like three yeah. gold. And, yeah. and her, her inn is going to be like brand, brand new by the time you're done mending, mending everything. Mending. <laughs> I mean, it's like 10 minutes per thing. Be, yeah. I'm yeah. cleaning thing. things as well. She's not just mending her. tomorrow. Like, That's I true, but I've, as well. but I've been here all day with nothing to do until these yeah. people came here. And then we were here for like hours before they came down for dinner. So it's yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, it's it's been done. It's it's been yeah, no, gadget, gadget go go gadget, gadget bath. Okay. <laughs> you, you guys, at, at some point, at some point, she's like, "This is taking too long." Rolls up her fake sleeve yeah. she doesn't have, <laughs> and she's like, "All right." And I fan out my tools and like, I'm gonna get this shit done. And Let's go, bitches! Like, you just watch. You just watch her like, what? The yeah, Mary's, Mary's just cheering. cheering on. What the fuck is she? What? How did? How did, how did that work? work? Ta-da! <laughs> Wait a Ta-da! second. Wood is can't that... fold itself. <laughs> is is it like the cartoon your, like dust cloud of like building it? noises? If yes, no yes, it's a dust cloud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just an occasional hammer comes out, screwdriver, a the flux capacitor. Right like <laughs> we have we have no idea that she did this, but as we were running through the jungle, she she did say she was grabbing all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. So now it's got now it's got like those fancy little like dunk. Bamboo thing. Water <laughs> <into> it. <laughs> it's like a full-on hot spring. Oh, yeah, I, I also did not. I did not uh, say that I did this yet, but uh, I absolutely changed my backpack into a bag of holding because I can just oh infuse God. it. So now I can put even more shit in my backpack. So, and your backpack um, is like the size of. Well, well a backpack like, like, for her. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but, uh, it's, but it's pretty can... much one of those things of. Holy crap! The bag of holding lets me find the item by just putting mm-hmm. my arm in and thinking it. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bag of so holding's amazing. I can make things so, faster. so gadget, gadget, you have the ability to make five things at a time that do special effects. So yes. you could literally have like pleasant pleasant music playing from one thing <laughs> and then you could have like See, a, a, a aromatic would, bath would salt be, choices it would always be the same song so that would even mean do that you would think have... that those spas have different songs it's always the same like the girl the girl from ipanema starts playing yeah. <laughs> Uh, All right. I can I can make a few things like I, uh, the smell of the water. This whatnot, is like that, this is things. officially a plus one bath that can fit three people. <laughs> it, 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 it smells like, like eucalyptus oil. oil. Does it give them a plus to their stats or something? Let's it see. Is, they they, they, so they gain inspiration after taking a bath. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know if these people I'm deserve it. <laughs> it's gonna be like t- we're gonna like wake up the tomorrow. There's the just sides. a line out the door like. Hey, can we get a room? We want a room. <laughs> we Five we gold. heard about your bath. We're gonna have to build, build more rooms. rooms. Your steak and your bath. We, we heard right. it, we, we heard about you on help. 
<laughs> so uh th- things go well at the end and you guys are left with enough pocket change to make sure you're well supplied for the trip up to Swineheim which is seeming less and less lucrative by the day <laughs> don't understand um, at these profit margins we could be rich could be very rich real fast Gruzo Gruzo sharpens every oh my God, I every piece of silverware. Painter's tools. <laughs> you can finally buy those five gold painter's tools. <laughs> I don't think those painter's tools were five bucks. I'm pretty or five gold. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they were like fifty. I was like, <laughs> yeah, you were looking at like the artisan painter's tools. Uh, yes, come right. With like an array of thirty-eight brushes. <laughs> you always roll with advantage on these. I can absolutely get myself like a sketchbook and pencil so I can at least scratch the itch of, hey, I can't paint, but I can draw. <laughs> you, got I, some, I, you got some charcoals to draw. I with. do honestly think that since she put us up, that well, I do feel like it's, a, it's totally fine to stay. Like, since the boat goes to Swineham every other day, anyways, it's not like we're waiting an extra week or something. Like, if we spend two days fancying the place up and helping her out, that could definitely be very, very important in the long yeah. run because of how a place like Dragon Post would work. And, and we, we might, might get, get free, free stay, stay here. here. All right, so as long as we work. we're staying an extra trip. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, there's fancying the place up, but there's enough room here uh, that if we were to present a building code that we could probably with, with mending and the artificing, maybe add another room. Yeah. Gruzo, I, I will say Gruzo has sharpened every knife in the kitchen and building to like a razor's edge. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have steak knives. Yeah. You're getting out the, getting out the blueprints, doing the John Taffer thing. And each one of these, each one of these chairs is another five gold a year on your on your bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> That's money in your pocket. <laughs> you don't um, need the giant the giant trophy over here. Put it in the corner. That way, it gives you another another four top. So the question is: This room? Are we going to make just another room? Let's make, Let's a, make suite. a suite. Are we going to? Yeah, are we going to make a suite, <laughs> or are we going to make a luxury room? Presidential suite. What? Yeah. I have a better question. Where does she sleep? <laughs> she sleeps in her office. Well, it is not an office. Gam, gam, it gam, is, gam, no, it is not an office. It is why the kitchen is so much smaller than than a normal inn's kitchen would be. Um, she she has a king size bed. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that seems to have been. Uh, Made of basically fine silks, and uh, yeah, yeah. I know what, I know that, what is. that is. She... Oh, damn, damn. Is, is it creaking? Is it creaking? Oh, oh no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't creak. Not it. Not not. She no, made it creak. creak anymore. It is well, well, well oiled. <laughs> you see, damn, your, Grandma. I like there's several eggs. dresser drawers around the room, uh, and there are dozens of of partially melted. Uh, wax candles, mostly honey wax candles <laughs> about the room. You know, the wax and, doesn't really go away from a candle, so if you're mending a candle, it just becomes a candle. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> and then you see your reflection above you um, <laughs> about the room. Yeah, I don't think oh, I don't think she, she has a ceiling-mounted mirror. <laughs> Guys, it's time to go. Damn, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> get, 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 get it! it. <laughs> Gruzo turns a little bit greener. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get out of this room. I don't know what that. I don't. I don't know what that means for a ghost. I, I can like, kind of. I can kind of see why not many people come to this inn now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's not, not an inn. inn. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's, it's an in and out. out. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Well, it could be an inn and stay in sometimes. I do. I do have the, the <laughs> hourly rates. <laughs> Can, can uh, we just make her a VIP? So she doesn't need. Over? She doesn't need need a room. Okay. Um, right, right. And this was kind of like probably a repressed memory as as you guys kind of explored the inn while she was gone. And it's like, <laughs> so <laughs> we're just going this way. <laughs> yeah. Is that oh, a full the carving door. of some naked dude on the wall? <laughs> 
It has a tin pack. Layla, no, it's, Layla it's a just, glass statue. Layla looks at everybody <laughs> else and was like, I haven't done enough mending. I'm going to go buy something that catches on fire for her. I, I'll be back. <laughs> so, Layla's going to uh, find like an outdoor pizza oven or something. <laughs> I mean, she might not need a brick any oven. Sort of- she might not need things to burn because she just gives a smoldering gaze all the time to everything. So uh, we're we're, we're going to add are. a room. That, and, then, and the question is: normal room, suite, or master suite? Uh, well, that, 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 that changes the difficulty of the checks that does, would be needed. Does this in already have any master suites, or would this be the only one if we did? Uh, this would be the only one. I say do it. The the rooms on the bottom floor are the largest of the the rooms, but they're by no means like right. considered master suite. Yeah, let's, yeah, do, let's it. do it. Yeah. All right. A honeymoon, a honeymoon suite. suite. Yeah. Basically. I mean, I I didn't even want to do this, but now I'm all in for this master. Yeah. Suite. yeah. <laughs> all our, right. Our, our, our it's as much time. magic as you can because that means there's less skill needed. Yeah. I need <laughs> athletics for hauling materials. I have a plus, have plus six, six in athletics. athletics. I can aid you at the plus five, so you. I, I have to look at the skill list. <laughs> <laughs> Acrobatics, animal handling, arcana, athletics, deception, history. No, I, I'd have to decide which ones would be. All right, we don't need charisma. Well, uh, we're going to take an improvised uh, uh, sleight of hand here. Yeah, sleight of hand. Good, good. I got that. <laughs> oh. We're to have a sleight of hand. Athletics. Since we've been here for a few days, let me see if there's any other obviously gadgets. We'll need to change a cantrip to mending and start mending. Investigation to ensure that everything is up to up to code. I can do that. I have a plus seven in investigation. Do you? No, I have a plus five. Is it proficiency? Yes. Then yeah, you can give her advantage. All right. right, So athletics. athletics? Yes, you do. I'm assisting you. Okay. So let's see that. Oh, I oh, okay. Okay, my mind. You got a seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. How do I? How do I make it roll with advantage? I, you you gotta, I like that. Uh, below, below the chat. The chat. I, didn't I didn't see it. See it. Didn't yeah, see it. it's it's right down right uh, under the chat. It says adv and dis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you click it and then you double click the investigation thing, right? You just, you just uh, uh, one, 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 one dice with advantage. with advantage. Yeah, it'll roll the two for you. It didn't show up. No, that was mine. I was checking oh, something. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so, so investigation is an eighteen. Advantage? Wait, what? That did what? Uh, I don't think anybody in the party has proficiency on sleight of hand. Nine and an eleven. So it dropped nine. I do not, but I can. I can also. I forgot. I have magic. I can give bless to the three people who are doing skill checks. So. Okay, and uh, what's the bonus from that? That is, and then gadget could also do guidance. I, I could think. do guidance on myself and add a d4. Um, okay. Unless it is plus a d4. Ooh. So it's two d4 then. Right? So the sleight of hand would take the bless. Okay. Okay. And then bless is up to three people. Oh. The athletics is the lower of the remaining. Oh, bless is to three people, so everybody gets yeah. it then. Up to three creatures of your okay, choice. So I right. needed to roll two d4 then. So, I no because it's a spell effect. I don't think they stack. Okay. Do yeah. Normally, you, you choose whatever is the better of the right, the so dice. But it's an eighteen. I mean, no. I mean, that makes it a twenty. It makes it a nineteen. Ooh, okay. a yeah. 20 it makes it a 19. I, I, you don't know how to math, dude. All right. Yeah. No, because <laughs> no, it's because I gave advantage, and before it was that like you add. A point to it, rather. So than... that's a twenty-one athletics, a nineteen investigation, and a seventeen sleight of hand. All right. Uh, Everything let's is. See if any of my spells up to code. The it doesn't look like out of place. It's been added on the side alley here. Where, like there's the the hallway has access to it. Um, you you guys build an extra room for her, and uh, she's like. My goodness, I should move my office here. <laughs> Who's going to sleep in the kitchen? In the kitchen? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to have to remember this, Gam Gam, <laughs> but your bed is too big to get out of that door. I don't know how you got that bed in there in the first place. We built, we built around, around it. it. <laughs> <laughs> she says, 
a couple strapping young lads did that one for I don't me. even know anymore. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am vacating this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so it is uh, four blind. days now. Let me check the camera. Meanwhile, Gad just like, why is everyone all uncomfortable? <laughs> 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 it's just life. All right. So it was uh, Fi's Day, the 7th. And when we started this, we're going to be going to uh, do this. There we go. So we're basically doing this on what is essentially their Saturday. Um, mm. Oh, my God. Oh, like like some advertising. advertising. No, I just want to go to Swineheim. <laughs> Layla, Layla would have been cooking steaks every night to get two gold instead of one. Uh, I would so it's the eleventh of end. Definitely spend the time to so been... get her to learn how to make the steaks the same way as well. Three days you or two days. Three days or five days. days. It's been a total of five. Okay. Uh, how have they? Uh, if we're leaving today, are go. those people have been here for the five days? Uh yes. Have they been continuing to tip? Uh yes. How much money have we made over the course of these five days? Because it was two gold for the party per day. Yes. And then a gold in tips. So that's three gold per day. So three, that's 15 gold for everybody. Okay. Is that is that five with of us, the previous one or is that without? That's including. So no, without the previous it, one we 13. got was one gold each. Yeah, we got a random one gold. Are we counting that? So, so everybody should no, have add that to that. It. So then yeah. that technically that's 16 Four. a piece. Okay. Four gold to 16 a piece? Uh, yes. Piece. Yes, you're each getting for five days. Lordy. So we made a <laughs> two two gold from the inn and one gold in tips. So, so that's okay. that's 15. So, 16 gold in, in these five days. Yeah. I'm a cook I, mean, now. I just had 13 then because I already added another. Now I know why Jungos okay. does it. <laughs> <laughs> Easy money. Did you, hey, did you did you spend some of this time teaching her how to make the steak to go yes, right? Yes, and how to use her pizza oven. How much, that pizza how much oven? did that How much did the How much did the pizza oven cost to buy her? Well, since that has to kind of be built. Uh, that oh, that's wait, one of the gadget can make it. Yeah, yeah it, right. But there has to be space for it. So yeah. after figuring all that out, uh, it was probably about fifty silver for all the uh, material raw materials needed for it. So five gold. Not... Uh, yes, five okay. gold. I don't know why I, I said it in in silver <laughs> terms. Right, <laughs> Silver's will, on the mind. I will spend the five gold for her to have a delightful, perfect. Gadget inspired pizza kitchen. Pizza. All right, and it's made out of uh, river stone instead of just regular gold. brick. So I, I that's it's going to be a plus one pizza oven. To become oh my god <laughs> DIY. I just yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was eating the food going to give you buffs. Like, this, this, this can't you come in. Has just become, become the HGTV channel. channel. <laughs> 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 Flip or flop. <laughs> in addition. <laughs> Are you gonna love it or are you gonna list it? Game, game? <laughs> I think she's gonna love it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we must just, just out of curiosity, we must press how, on. How high has the the standing of this end versus the other ends gone? <laughs> well, the word hasn't quite spread. Oh, Everybody's kind of like spirit, it's yeah, no, no. Well, it, it's very weird at the moment, and everybody knows Nissa stays mm -hmm. there. So they think it is a crock of lies. Gam Gam Mir deal the some devil. trick to be <laughs> be brought in and then sacrificed. Oh no, everybody's the, the hellish I resident. I don't sacrifice people <laughs> anymore. Moment, what are you talking about? The moment Nissa Wait, what? goes to, to uh, Swineheim and then all of a sudden everyone's like, all right, time to go check out that place. <laughs> Holy shit, it actually is good. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Everybody shows up and it's like. I don't care if Game Gam did make a deal with the devil. This piece is too good. <laughs> <laughs> you try that bath out back? My God. Uh, it's I do, as I do hot as to, hell. I have to Wait. ask. If, if, uh, if we're heading to Swineheim, mm -hmm. um, are we heading like, as a group or are we just going together because it's the most cost effective? I mean, I mean by, this, by time, this time, I think, I think we, as a, we as a party would have bonded, bonded a bit. A bit. Yeah, so you guys also one of these are. Things, like, whenever, whenever any of the rest of us go out into town, I'm sure they're like, like it's like, oh, oh. Except, except for Gruzo. 
Gruza's just and, yeah, Gruza is like, oh, oh, hey, yeah, okay, you need this, this, okay, great, all right, all right, fine, have a good one, kind of thing. And for some reason, he's not associated with the group. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's weird, but they everybody just kind of like, all right, yes, yeah, this goblin, whatever he's doing here, don't care, just. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, time Where comes for for cell day. What's that? Where's Game Games in at on the map? It's in the number one, the Adventurer's Rest. Okay. Uh, basically, con- consider it tucked back where the bottom of the one is, tucked back somewhere behind there. Uh, so there, there's like ample space between the uh, the the wall, uh, the fortification, uh, and the inn for for additions, I guess you, you, if we could say. I think we're basically now just going on an adventure to earn enough money to up the inn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get get some supplies, build some this fame. Come back with some. Mm-hmm. I actually have a job to do. I'm not bu- doing anything more for this inn right now. <laughs> Right now, oh. uh. <laughs> that means you will when we come back. back. Yeah. Also, All right. also, hold up. What's your job? Yeah, what I can't is, say what's your job? job? Huh? 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 What's your job? What's your job? What's your job? What's your job? That information is classified. <laughs> classified. What's classified me? No, I'm just kidding. I know what classified means. That's where well, you learn know. in school. Hmm. You know, hmm. secret <laughs> secrets put me in a burning mood. <laughs> Sides is like she's just putting <laughs> all the innuendo like together. That, that one of her one best, best customers, customers is a glass, glass blower. blower. Mm-hmm. Why is she made out of glass? No, the statue was made out of glass. There are many things made out of glass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Dildos. Dildos. Cinnamon roll. <laughs> you glass penetration objects. I like that. I like oh. that. Door stop, the stop. demon. The demon is the cinnamon roll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would meanwhile, you do with glass? Mean, what were all those weird sculptures in a room? I, 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 I will. I will like tower. say. Why did I, that I one did dresser think that rattle well, when we started statues? Moving it? I just thought it was just statues of glass. Why are they shaped like towers? <laughs> So, Why so were there so many doesn't... glass fists in there? So, so Gus doesn't oh. know what those are, nor does he know how to do math. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's innocent, everybody. At this point, Gruza is just like, I don't know if you guys are good luck, but you may just make a ton of coin, so I'm following you guys. Yeah, yeah. I've not like, held this much coin in my entire life. The campaign he just life. came from, like the Ludus thing was like a little bit of hand-holding and some, some interaction what? between you Hana. You put him in a campaign with hand-holding? Listen, yeah. <laughs> Hana grabbed many, many hands. Too much for Goodbye, Sab. Sab. <laughs> that was like, I'm dead. Just <laughs> the, the audacity. I'm sure you broke all the cameras, too. All right. All right. No, it's fine. So, and kill we yeah. finally on cell day, the 11th, it's for some reason the calendar wants to say the 11th oh, no. of N. <laughs> Just to spite right. Sab, I guess. I have At no control over that. The 11th. I, the 11th. I, I guess because it's a one that it auto programs itself to be an S. At least it's not that. <laughs> The eleventh, the eleventh. Nice fall day. Uh, we find ourselves on the ferry heading upriver into um, Swineheim. And if you check the actual map on Hylon, uh, uh, sorry, on the World Anvil, you can see that there's a little blue dot that kind of goes all the way in, inland towards the Spire Lens. Uh, before that uh, entry into Spire Lens, there is an abandoned. Uh, well, not so much abandoned. There's this this large sprawling ruin. So what must have been an an old settlement or city of some sort, and it's long since been overrun by by boars. Um, at, at first, it seems like you know it was overrun by boars because that's just where they had hold up. But now 
it seems like more keep coming in because there's people there and they're leaving food around and it's just like oh, it's no, a no, self-fulfilling no. cycle uh so so we're heading up river you should, you should um, um aptly for, named the dragon post river for next, for next week, week with the map, the map in, in like, like just a graphic into the, the, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna actually have to map out the settlement. Yeah. Just so I can <laughs> have it have it have it have Deja vu. Yeah. Deja vu. Ah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Are we are we so, drifting? In the... So <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we're we're heading <laughs> multi stream upriver, drifting uh, up river on this ferry barge sort of deal. Uh, there's several people that kind of like are rowing since the winds are 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 down, and you guys get to meet. Uh, Dang old Waterman. Dang old uh, Waterman. Yes. <laughs> oh no. Everybody calls him Dang old Waterman. Uh, he responds best to Captain Waterman. Uh, he's got a wooden arm and a literal lead foot. Uh, and he says that uh, he he inherited them from his father and his father's father before him. Uh, just the same as his eye color and hair are inherited. What? Uh, I know. Hold up. He he inherited the arm and the foot from his father and his grandfather. And they're passed down <laughs> from generation to generation. You're born with them. What? That's a little heavy handed. <laughs> I gotta put my foot down. These, these, these <laughs> so, I see that stare tay. <laughs> I'm just trying to get through this by putting one foot in front of another. <laughs> I, I had to explain it before, like saying it the way he would say it. And he's dang old dang old thing. I'm gonna you got know, my foot and arm from my daddy and my dad and daddy for power. Just an in- inheritance, you know what I'm saying? You could cast mending on him. <laughs> yeah, <it has. laughs> I'm gonna fish. <laughs> no, but what you ain't gonna want to do that. Just get on there, you know, fish up in here and they're gonna bite you. Oh god. So no on the fishing. What about what about like a net? Oh hell no, he didn't get them thing that's been there and razors on them. <laughs> what? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that doesn't have trouble understanding him. <laughs> she's just she's just like why did I bring this fishing pole? <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it even good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep her weight, weight balanced balance in this boat. Uh, uh, mean, like standing meanwhile, spread, like, like in the background, there's five there people. Catfish around here. Uh, it, there's an elf that is leading a group of two demi humans and two humans, and. Kind of after you say that something about catfish, you just hear Gamma Squad pose, and like several of them like throw their arms up in different directions, and like oh, the elf is like, the... yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, that's group. it. No, it's high school all over again. <laughs> I don't know pose on the haters. Is that the Ginyu Squad? You've been to the Arcanum, you've been with those kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is, this is, that doesn't, that's like, Nissa's not even batting an eye. That's yeah, normal for like, What? <laughs> <laughs> this is some uh, obscure religion then? <laughs> don't worry. Plebs don't get it. <laughs> What? <laughs> Point proven. Gamma Squad, pose. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she leans, in, she leans into dang old water, man. What's your policy about fire on your boat? <laughs> I ain't gonna, really, I'm gonna stay on that. I'm gonna, you know, do some water and everything. Just kind of put it out. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Layla's just over there playing with a lighter, threateningly. <laughs> if, if you're just alluding to the fact that I might start a fire for some reason, I'm not. not it's been no, burning no, since no, the world's been turning. We're not saying <laughs> we'll start a fire. We're blaming, we're blaming you for starting, we're starting a fire. <laughs> I mean, we didn't start the fire. <laughs> All right, so... so the, the ferry finally pulls into dock, not a moment too soon. Uh, Gamma Squad first. Gamma Squad first. They, <laughs> the ferry they, and the ferry? Yeah. yeah. 
the gamma squad basically uh they just like leap off the side uh one of them kind of like trips up a little bit but he turns it into a sick pose uh so you know nothing, nothing how sick on a scale of one to twenty yeah, how yeah. sick uh he cranked it up to a thirty oh okay, okay, yeah it's like a, a duck roll pose it's impressive Gold yeah the natural twenty on acrobatics there it was just perfect <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so breaking away from them as soon as possible and exploring the ruins <laughs> is he the right. only fairy guy by the way yes he's the only ferryman to, okay. to go up up and up and down river so you're uh, just gonna you're just gonna be hanging out here and with the fairy then well yeah i mean i i ain't going on there you know it's dangerous with, the, with the slime board and all that stuff you know I, hell no I, i'm just gonna kind of just relax and, and eat my drink I'm gonna take a calzone. I'm gonna take a calzone out of my bag from the pizza. <laughs> just take a bite of it and then turn and walk away. <laughs> you didn't take up this giant calzone. Yeah. Yeah. Mary's trying to process like what he's saying as he's saying it. And oh, like he said as no. she's getting off the boat, she's like, <laughs> wait, 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 slime? Did you see a slime boar? <laughs> Yeah, we can cover it. I'm not going to cry it. I'm not, you know. Don't want to get on bottom of that. <laughs> Gruzo's going to, like, walk up to Nyssa, like, as we're getting off, and pointing off at the, uh, the chat, the group of chads that just left. He's like, two gold says we're going to find them in trouble later. I call dib. I call dibs on whatever they leave behind. I'll, I'll I'll match you, but I'll also say that we find them posing in trouble. <laughs> Fair enough. So breaking away from from the from various the adventure, Waterman. yeah, from from the various adventure parties and dang old water man, uh, <laughs> we find ourselves kind of in the middle, uh, in the midst of these ruins, and it's kind of like setting in like. This city was huge and not just on a scale of being large, but like the buildings were larger than like what normal, yeah, what you know, medium sized creatures would be using. It's like not quite as big as giants, but like maybe Goliaths or something. It, it was larger humanoids designed this. How's it get over there? I'm gonna, oh, I need to change the, the music. I totally forgot about that. For some reason, I'm getting a feeling that this is like a marshy area or a swamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's basically foothills of the mountains slash swamp I mean, area. If you have wild, wild game, game over here, here, it's going to be funny. I'm going to make a uh, the little symbol of Hylos out of salt from a big giant bag of salt that I have in my pack. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, uh, sacred flame it. Super superstitious <laughs> much. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're even though it's fall, <laughs> even though it's fall, uh, kind of towards the ocean, it was kind of like brisk and and uh, a, a slight chill on the warm breeze. Out is, here, is it's it like working right now. Yeah, it, it, it'll start in just a second. It's it's straight up hot out this way. Yeah, it's not working for me though. Yeah, there's nothing will, playing yet. Okay, I will I will have to say that when we get into the ruins, this will probably just be like full focus mode. Like oh, I've got to look at all this stuff now. Make notes. There's Going all mine the and stuff. stuff. <laughs> There's stuff and things. Essentially, all I'll them. be, I'll be, I'll be continually doing like checks and things as when I can. Go. I would like to. Would yeah, like you hear the bugs for, in the background. I'd like to look for tracks nearby. All right. Hmm. There's tracks aplenty. Um. Specifically, though, you spot a larger pair of uh, board ho hoof prints in, in the mud, and these like holes where where like mud is pushed up and hardened because it's been like left out of the ground to dry, and it looks like whatever it was like just pushed the mud forward, and you can see like where tusks kind of like just rutted this mud around. Gonna need a bigger fairy. <laughs> yeah. They have mosquitoes, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about mosquitoes. I'm looking at these buildings. I'm looking at these so, buildings to see if I can cross reference it with history from the past and stuff. Mm -hmm. Nerd! Uh, give, me... <laughs> uh, give me a. Let's see. Is there a specific history lore? 
I think it's just for history. Recall. It's just history. I think it's just history too. Yeah, give me a uh, recall or history. Yeah, there it is. His Arcana, nature, religion, and history. You can also do investigation if you want. Uh, we'll do the history first. All right. History. I go. got the investigation. It is my thing. Mirror is just the word for it. All right. Beautiful. So. You guys, uh, Layla sees, you know, this is probably more rare game being that it's larger. Uh, so it's probably a good idea to follow these tracks. And it just so happens to be that in that direction, there's this tower that's like mostly crumbled. It's, it's barely above one story, but it kind of stands out amongst the other ruins. It's just a slight bit taller. Uh, mm. And historically, towers were where you kept information, uh, at least when they were, if they were further in a settlement outside of the, or on the outskirts of a settlement, it was normally like watchtowers, but this isn't too big for that. It, it like must have held tower. something. It, it, kind of, yeah. Uh, so we, we find ourselves heading in that direction. Let me pull up a map for everybody here. Cool. Let's go. And I'll put our tokens on there. I will say that she's, always, she's constantly she's got a journal and just constantly writing about, oh, this looks like... Oh, this looks like an architecture from the 20th century. What a dork! <laughs> All right, I gotta grab the token from here. Uh, there we go. She's got those big horns to offset her big brain. No, from this side. <laughs> They're heat sinks. From this side, Nissa's uh, icon. You're muted. Only her eyes are glowing. Muted. Ah, ah, there no crow. camera. Okay. So, <clears throat> the overgrown trees have these huge thorn, thorny vines that kind of like wind up them, and it's killing some of the trees. Other ones are still in good health. Um, we see, stupid mosquito, uh, the, the, the place is basically overgrown with... Um, something that's similar to, to kudzu. It's smaller, more oval-shaped leaves in, instead, though. Uh, with the... Oh, you mean an investigation? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I can do the investigation. I have do it with seven. advantage with, um, with Nissa helping you with the investigation. Yeah. Advantage investigation. What the heck? Bad roll. Right. Dropped a three. Yeah. yeah. So remember, you could have cast guidance too. You need to start. I only have guidance once a day. Oh, I thought you could. It's the, a cantrip. It was a so, racial thing. Yeah, I can. Pick oh, up you're the casting cantrip. it. Oh. Okay, you're casting it as a racial ability. Okay, I didn't know that. So the. Like, I can I can pick it up any day. Okay. Yes, but the, that's okay. The um. Oh, uh, guts, give me a new roll for portent. Did we have a long rest? Yeah, it's been like yeah. five okay. days of time. Yeah. I don't like know these what old ones. Is. Ooh, oh my wow. god, you're that kind of wizard, aren't you? And an eight. Depends 18, on what you mean by eight. that kind of. Uh... Are you a divination <laughs> wizard? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, nice. So, um, looking about these ruins and following these tracks around. We find that there's this weird, like thick slime or goo, kind of teal colored, and it's being it, it has been dragged about. I'm gonna pull uh, Nissa over here to point out where it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. So it's it's been it looks like like splashed around. It's it's thin. Um, I will let you decide if you want to touch it or investigate it further. And then off to the left on this map, um, this large, like, long house with broken stairs. It it no longer has a second story. It barely has a first lead? story. Okay. What's that? Like, where'd the tracks lead? To the tower? They're basically all over, but there's strange tracks going through uh, these, this slimy area. So the big ones I found lead that away. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gruzo, you hear 
a loud kind of like snorting and shifting about coming from the ruins on the left. Gruza will immediately like dive into like a bush and take a hide. Take okay. a hide action. Okay. Uh, I would definitely so still... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's say it's like over here somewhere. Yep. Jeez, Hop on the Miri. I'm level oh, two and my is. stealth is a plus nine. You said that we could uh, touch the thing, what couldn't we? Yes, if you wanted to. Uh, oh, just to remind everybody that you can use, uh, if you get yourself aligned on, on one of the squares, you can use your arrow key to move. I tried I... that and all it was doing was moving the entire map. So yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if it's a setting that I have enabled. Maybe I'm going to unlock the map. No, it's read only, so I don't know what any of these things are on here. I apparently hit the question there. mark and it opened something in the browser. Get out of I've, here. I've locked the map. Maybe that helps. I don't know. No, no. no. Okay. We got, we got wolves. Okay. So, <laughs> Awu. Yes, if you wanted to interact with the slime, you can. Uh, so I would start to reach out for it, but then I'll remember number one, the rule, number one rule from the school. That round. Um, it's like when interacting <laughs> with something strange. Gruzo. Gruzo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. It's like when finding something strange and unknown, make sure it's not magical first before you put your hand in it. <laughs> strange so you, viscous liquids. Yeah. I do uh, detect magic. Okay. Um, it is magical. It is. Not of a specific school, though. It just radiates with maybe life. Uh, it, it, it seems as though it's, I guess, got a soul to it, but it's not moving around or anything like that. It's not actually alive. Is it but it, 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 it seems like it is. Oh no, is the it... cheerleaders turned into slime. <laughs> is it possible for me to discern what it might be with like an arcana check or something? Sure. Cool. Right. Uh, from your studies, you remember seeing something about like living oozes, but at the moment you can't really pin a ton of information on it. It was kind of a, a glancing study. Uh, nothing really delved into too deeply. Um, so this could be like the trail of some sort of ooze. Hmm. Can I put something in it to see what happens? <laughs> yes. Can we mage hand? Stick. Yeah, sure. I'll mage hand a <laughs> stick into it. <laughs> okay. No. Um, it sticks to the stick. It's very um, thick. It's It's like a molasses almost. Is it like one of those things that stretches as you try to pull it out? Oh yeah, it's like stringy and everything. And it's sound. very slow to move. Okay. <laughs> I'll, just, just be like, Get out. <laughs> I'll just be still like to the other guys. It's like, just be careful going through this. It's very sticky. Why are we going through it? <laughs> so, while this is going on, Gruzo, you spot a very large boar. Uh, <laughs> kind of just trotting by, sniffing at the ground. He he puts his head up against one of these rocks. And well, just rocks, uh, really, they're like bricks. Huge bricks. Uh, against one of these larger sized ones, like a little bit bigger than Gruso. And it lifts, it flips it over with ease. Like, it just kind of goes kunk, and you hear the boom, boom, as it flips over. And then he it begins to just kind of go literally hog wild at all the bugs that were up underneath it and just kind of starts eating them up. Gruzo watches him flip like a piece of masonry that's his size. Just why I just like, holy shit. <laughs> and he's just like looking back over where the party was and is trying to use like some sort of like military call from his background to get their attention. <laughs> but it's like Tookie <laughs> Tookie! Come on, come on. The damn bird, I'm gonna throw a stone at it. I'm, I'm just, just a birdie, birdie too. <laughs> you could be a big pig too. 
Should we oh, all roll perceptions? Uh, no, I have the list here, party okay. sheet. I will uh. willfully ignore it so I can investigate this room. <laughs> Fuck! All right, Layla definitely notices the strange call of, <laughs> of the goblin. And the boar kind of like lifts his head up and looks pig, and then just stuffs his snout back down into the bugs. Like, like when he's over, starts starts like tapping Nissa, and be like, pig, pig. It is a pig. <laughs> pig, pig. Don't move. <laughs> Steady. Oh, girl. Like, don't startle it. Steady, girl. Easy, girl. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you really take take All, right. Out. All right. Come on, scholar. Let's see what you, let's see what you got. The perfect noise. out. What timing on that alert? <laughs> Uh, item right. equip noise. Apply... Roll initiative. How do I apply my infusion to Nissa. my bow? My crossbow. You uh, That's just something you do in the morning. It's just yes, poop. I it's understand that. How oh, do I do it in D and D Beyond? I'll show you. I'll, I'm, I'm D &D. certain that rituals use a spell slot when when cast. They do not. If you're taking they don't? time. If you take you the time to cast it as a ritual. It. Okay, that that's the difference then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can so cast it without it being a ritual and it takes a spell slot and that makes it fast. But if you cast yeah. it as a ritual, it adds ten minutes to the casting time. So a one minute cast becomes an eleven minute. Right, okay. Because it's only one action plus one ten minutes. Mm -hmm. so. Vex, I just wanna say mm -hmm. that freaking bug noise, I absolutely hate it and yeah. it fits yeah. the scene so well. <laughs> I keep, I keep like shaking my head. Yep. It, it's really good sound, and yeah, I, I, it's something I deal with on a constant basis down here. Oh. <laughs> of course. Oh. Uh, what are we doing? Rolling initiative. initiative. Roll initiative because yeah. there's a. I'm, I'm really board. hoping this is a surprise round. Hold on. Where is? Ooh. Ah! Where oh, is initiative? Nat twenty. On, uh, on the, uh, main the main page. page. It's, in, it's the in the center. That's in the center. center. Yeah, it's like so right in the middle. You can drag and drop. It. Hmm. This, oh this my god, just I'm not like, going first. Shut the fuck up. I know. I know. Okay. It, it's, like, so. <laughs> it's like I was just completely focused on this thing, but as soon as I hear a boy, it's like, huh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Cause see here, look, Seb, I did the manage Boop. infusions, Boop. right? These... I created the bag Boop. of holding, Boop. but okay, like I could not put it in the entombment area. Like I don't know what it's supposed where it's supposed to I'll show you how to do that after. So okay. It doesn't matter right now. Just it, it you, treat it as a plus, for... you treat it as a plus one with no loading and no ammunition. Mm -hmm. The cat's dead. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> so you make right. fun of me. Let's see here. I like that he turned to face the camera with his eyes closed. <laughs> I can totally breathe. Don't die. Do we need you to be alive right now. And Mercer. I wonder if I can. Can you guys open the combat tracker? Combat Where tracker? Is it? Uh, it is the little sword icon oh, no. in the top yeah, right. Yes. I can, open can, it. can you guys see it okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, where? What? At the very, At the very top, top right, right? The two, the two of what? Swords. The map? Of, of fantasy, fantasy Oh, the top. The red yeah. marker. Yeah. Just yeah. the yes. red thing on the top right corner. <laughs> All right. So you can click like on on this. Ooh. You can of course choose your targets, but you can click on your attributes and your offense to see your like ready stuff. Um, not quite sure how it's set up for you guys. I will speak. Uh, I see just the basically the stats. I don't see your attacks on it though, yeah, so you no. probably still have to keep your character sheet up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm still learning how to set that all up. It works for mine. Okay, so it's not showing the boar. 
All right. Your birthday buddy is in chat, by the way. X. Red. Huh? Red has oh, birthday. okay. Shares birthday with you. Oh. You know who Red is. You met yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, happy same birthday. Belated, though. <laughs> <laughs> there can't be two uh, birthday people at the same time. It creates a dimension. Oh, yeah, Does, there it is. Did, did that what it, okay. Yay, I found uh, it. It was a very obscure help. little icon. Oh, it's a help. Why is he a gun? Like... What's that? <laughs> <laughs> he does look like a gun. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> It's just a stretchy boar. You leave him it's, be. It's it's, it's, it's a board gun. Rifle. It's a it's a board rifle. Yes. Oh, oh no. god. Get out. The boar leans up. You see the tusk go. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right. So let us begin uh, with a surprise round. Uh, Nissa Nissa leads it off. Okay. Um. I was about to. Uh, I was about to ask, and as soon as I thought of it, it made me think stupid. Um, oh, I was like, hurt. it was literally going to be how smart does the boar look? <laughs> <laughs> like a, like boar. a boar. Mm. I don't know. Pigs are yes. very intelligent. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. That's why That's I said like, like a boar. <laughs> that damn mosquito! Yeah, I'm turning that stupid bug off. Yeah, <laughs> He yeah. found a, he found academic pursuits to be a little too boorish for his tastes. Yes. <laughs> um, he looks like a creature with an intelligence of possible. Okay, so if, they get any, if they get any higher, they're sentient. Exactly. <laughs> they're, they start to reach Layla's level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not even looks like, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. You yeah. Right. Yeah. Guess what, right. guys? You have more than your max health if you slept within 60 feet of me. Did you sleep oh, within 60 right. feet of me? I did. Did you get know. extra health? Room? How much temp HP do we get? Uh... Was it four? I forget, too. It's something like that. <laughs> I don't remember. Let's go look. I'm pretty sure it's four. I it cannot... doesn't show in D, D Beyond. So in the it's combat repose, tracker. Repose. Ha, ha. Hi, okay. What is that noise? Like Shut up. They gain temporary hit points equal to the amount of hit dice they gain. For oh, example, okay, so a fifth level character two. gains two hit dice because everything is rounded down. Yes. And one more for a total of three half. because they would what? You mean half their hit dice plus one? I yes. will just paste okay. it. So it's two. So two temporary HP. Do, do I get hit points as well? I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I get two. You get extra rest. Two? Yeah, you get an extra two. Mm -hmm. At least I can't add it in the combat tracker. I had to put it on my actual character. Yeah, it has to go in the sheet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where okay. the what? The what? In the sheet. If, if uh -huh. you scroll all the way down where it says, where it says your HP. Temporary. Yeah, got it. Yep. There you go. TMP. Huzzah. All right. Fantastic. Marissa, okay. what's your My con health is wrong. My health should be 22. Marissa, what's your con bonus? Uh, uh, two. two. Her health HP is wrong as well. Yes, you should not have 32 HP then. Because, I mean, if you, if you look if you look on uh, the actual stream, it shows That's you're up. supposed to have 28. Yeah, two, yeah just compare it to D&D Beyond. It, something probably happened in the import. As it is want to do. All right, Nissa, yeah. what do you do? All right, so um, am I able to figure out what is what boars would be afraid of? Like, what would be their natural hunting thing that hunts them? Well, You've I, never I, seen a boar this large, <laughs> so have I ever uh, seen a boar? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> um, seen it in, in studies. It's it's basically you know they always fear the animal that's larger than them. Um, other than that, most creatures are naturally afraid of fire. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I can use <laughs> I can use press the digitation to immediately light something and scare it. It's a um, surprise round. I mean, yeah. Heard it. What the, I mean, what the fuck was that? Was that? <laughs> Listen, was it's that just a frog that sounds like a kid. It's a frog. How far away is it from me? That many squares, yes. 
Uh, a weird tool in here. There, there is. I forget the button for uh, for the left click and then right hold right click. Oh, like oh that, that leaves the thing answer. on there. That's I okay though. Yeah, I've disappeared. Ooh. Yeah, you, you disappeared. Your token. Yeah, you somehow deleted. And I did what token. he said. I left click and then I right clicked and then I vanished. Well, it was a hundred feet. Are from you back yet? You did it, did it put you back? No, no, I don't see. I don't see me at all. It was a hundred feet from where you. Yeah, used to you hit the... delete token because when I right click, it gives him the choices to rotate left, all delete right. token, and rotate right. So yeah, you just deleted your token. So I, I blame you entirely, Hell hey, on. What? No, Sam <laughs> said it. <laughs> I didn't tell you to delete anything. I can't get rid of this line anymore. I, I can. Okay. It's I can. Don't worry. Delete it. Okay. Deleted. Um, I move ten feet closer. Okay. Now it is well hidden from you as far as oh. color. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 would, you would have, you would have, have to move like up here, here to see it. it. So I, I can guess... see it nice and clear. Um, I can move third. Is it thirty feet? I can move. Where am I? How do I move yeah. again? How does move? So each square is ten foot, right? No, on here it's five. Five. Okay, so pretty wish Six I could squares. use this damn ruler. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh man, I can't see it at all. No matter where I move. What? You get slight. You, you get more than than um, half cover. Or you, sorry, you get half cover on it from right there. That a boar? That yes, like that it was a boar. That is right. a boar. Yeah, that sounds right. like that sounds like a boar. That one is. I, I will I will move to that position. Okay. Ooh. Is that do you have the squares of that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, half cover gives it plus yep. two. Yes. If I need if I've still got one movement left, I would move. No, that was it. Okay. Um, and if I can see it, I will do... where is it? Since it's surprised, you have advantage if it's an attack roll. Hmm. Crusoe's just waiting in the bush. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, um, well, being as it's scared of fire, I'll do fire stuff. I will do... a chromatic orb. Ooh, yay! And obviously I'll set it to fire. All right. Right on top of him. What's the uh, the roll needed? Uh, one action. Uh, you choose blah, 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 blah. make a ranged spell attack against the target. Okay. So do that with advantage. Where's, where is it? It's in actions. There we go. Uh, oops, All right, that's not living. Let me just roll it again for the other one. Yep. <laughs> Damn! All right. Now we get to, to roll it again to see if it does anything super special. Oh, boy. Shut up, wolf. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your turn yet. Ooh, ooh. That's good. That is good. Uh, that is a confirm of a uh, special crit. Nice. So... I'm going to roll me a dice. Blow a boar into bacon. All right, what's really the normal spell bacon. effect? Uh, let me just bring up D&D. &D. Uh, oof, uh, oof, oof, oof. And then it turns into bacon. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a way to put it in chat through FG? Like the I don't spell. Uh, drag, um, drag, drag, drag the skill. Here, I can. if you have it on your character sheet in Fantasy Grounds, I'll check real quick. And it is chromatic orb, and I can just click the. Uh, whoops. Huh. Nope. Sometimes it, it lets me. I haven't figured that part out. Look at. Look at. You click the square and it shows. Look in the chat. Oh, okay. Very good. All right, so it hits. So it's going to be six uh, d eight fire damage. So roll that first for yes. the critical damage. Uh, do you want me to roll the damage twice or just roll a 68? Just 68. Okay. Extra um, crispy bacon. You can just click on the the D8 and right-click eight times. Or 
Six times. Seven. Seven times. Seven times? There's the extra one coming from. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm I'm thinking 88 for some reason. Uh, away! Ooh. Nice! Oh, that's right. It does do auto crit. You're right. I, it did it last time. Uh, all right, fantastic. So 27 damage. Ha! Oh, good grief. Good gravy. I'm finally doing something. Yay! <laughs> I'm that doing it, Ma! That would have instantly KO'd anyone in the party except Marissa. <laughs> 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 yeah. She can do fire! Hellfire! So You want to fire orb, this is fire. <laughs> an orb kind of Maybe you're not floats out and appears are. over the boar. And then it, it just explodes into flame. Little, little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she is a demon! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they would be like she does know real magic. <laughs> it's She's a demon, but beautiful fire. It winds out in pain, and it is. It has become immolated in, in flame. It is taking four fire damage each round. Nice. Sweet. Go we're, not gonna have to, we're not going to have to skin it that hard. <laughs> we're going to have the skin nice and crisp. I'm getting flashbacks to when we were cooking that steak and it got burned. Pork rinds. I don't think that, uh, that's is, not yeah, so how pork it rinds is are made, dude. <laughs> on fire, that is action, uh, move, and it, did you have a bonus action you wanted to, to take? Um, Yellow, Yellow incendies have it. I don't. I, don't. <laughs> 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 I yes. would, but it's not really Nissa right now. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I'm just like, I, I did it. I did it. <laughs> Did I do that? Pork. It's a crispy pork chop. Pork rinds. Pork skin is first rendered and dried and then fried. <laughs> All right. That brings us to... Whoops. Oh, well, there we go. All right. Gruzo. Oh. <laughs> Gruzo just sees the orb of fire just streak by. Just like, oh. He's just going to pop out of the bush. Twang. And then just vanish back into the bush. Ha <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ha! This is with advantage. Mm -hmm. Did, wait, hello? Uh, what the ho hell? Hello? I saw a shadow hello. guy up here. There's the shadow of your dice there, but there it is. Oh! Oh, why did okay. you yeah. oh. Drop to six. All right. Okay, so, so it's a 21 so hit. Absolutely hits. Okay. Does it have armor? It does Wait, have no. natural armor. It has natural armor. Okay, so that was supposed to be my short. That moment. was supposed to be my short bow, mm -hmm. but it's the same to hit for the short sword. So. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, so that is, and that sneak attack, right? Because we had advantage. Yes, you that's have advantage. One d six plus plus two d six, I believe it is, or is it two d four? I think it's two d six. Yeah, sneak attack is d sixes. Very, it's very 18 nice. damage. The arrow is shot straight and true directly into its throat, and there's kind of like some <laughs> and just collapses, <laughs> still on fire. And he will use his bonus action to hide and just duck back down in the bush. <laughs> uh, victory for the <laughs> I'm gone. Should probably end the fire so that. Uh, there's there's no control over the fire at this point in time, so you're, you're going to have to put it out of the way you normally put it out of fire. I, I use press dissertation to snuff put out the flames. Put a blanket over it! Build a little fence around it. <laughs> <laughs> I could just snuff it out with press dissertation. Yeah, Don't, yeah. it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of like get close enough and just... <laughs> and Layla just like, you... Hell spawn. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you finally did something good. <laughs> ruined it <laughs> i mean All we right. are in the ruins she like she like puts her mace away disgusted <laughs> i could never then do she, anything then she's 